question is, is this a tourist trap? Look how poofy. Look at those. They just look like a ball of happiness. <laughs> Hey travel lovers, welcome to A Wanderlust for Life, the channel that shows you European gems through food and memorable experiences. I'm Jessica and today I am bringing you to the Garden of Europe and this is your guide to visiting Kokenhof here in the Netherlands. Let's get into it. the cook and health is super easy. You can buy your tickets online and you can even buy a combi package so that you can just take the bus in and it's easy to get to from Leida, Harlem, Schiphol Airport and Amsterdam from the Rye Convention Center. Could not be easier and it drops you off right at the front door. Of course you can also bring your car and park here. Super easy. mid 1400s this used to be hunting grounds and basically the kitchen of an old castle but that's been well it's in ruins now and in the 1600s in the mid 1600s they built a new manor the new owners in the mid 1800s the owners got the same people that designed the Vondel Park in Amsterdam, very famous park, to design this in English style. So that is the same as you see now. And now it's a show garden for exporters of flowers. So this is not just a tulip garden. There is gonna be something blooming no matter when you're here. It is only open from mid-March to mid-May and tulips are around mid to late April is about when you'll see them. But you never know, cause it's Dutch weather. And this last week, it's been nothing but rain. It's gonna get very warm this week. So I think this weekend, this coming weekend, it's gonna blossom like crazy. But if you're looking just for the tulip fields, you can do that too. Uh, they have bike rentals and they also have a boat ride in um, the park where you can go around and see the tulip fields if you want to check that out. If you're an art lover, you're also going to love this park because there are so many sculptures throughout this park area. And uh, we just found one that is a sundial and I absolutely love it because you can tell like where the sun is hitting. So over here, we don't have a lot of things blooming. And then as soon as you go like behind me over there, they're all in bloom. It is so cool just to see the effect of sunshine. Hey, have you subscribed yet? Go ahead and do it. Now? Yeah? Have you done it? Awesome, thanks. One thing you learn when you live in the Netherlands is there are so many varieties of tulips. I think we're all used to seeing just like kind of a few petals that pop straight up, but these are some of my favorites. Um, I don't know the specific names, I'm not that good, but they have a ton of petals in the middle and they just look so fluffy that you wanna play with them. My favorite is, I think it's called the ice cream tulip. If we don't find it here today, I don't think we will because it is a late bloomer in the spring and it's fluffy and it looks like like a scoop of ice cream. It's the coolest thing ever, but I've never seen one in real life. So um, that's the goal today. But if not, I will show you a picture of it so that you know what to look for if you come in late spring. some fresh Dutch strawberries, met slagroom, whipped cream. I'm very hungry. <laughs> These are massive. Can you see that? Jeez Louise, I feel like Dutch strawberries are usually very small. <sighs> okay. Mm. Perfect. I need some sustenance to keep going. <laughs> Figured now is the best time, as any, uh, to talk about the services that you have here. So there are toilets outside the entrance, which is super helpful. And there's also some lockers that you can leave your stuff. I mean, I have this bag. I've never had a problem with bringing a bag in, but maybe larger bags you might want to leave there also just to not carry it around everywhere. Um, you can bring dogs in, but they have to be on a leash. And I mean, they have to be good dogs. Come on. 
right. Um, but there are food stations throughout um, the park. They're mostly um, snacks and stuff like that, but you'll find a variety of food in the different, um, different kinds of gardens. And then you'll find carts like where I just got the strawberries from. There's a bulb shop, there are flower shows, there are sculptures, there's a boat ride, there are bikes outside of the park where you can um, go see the tulip fields. And it's just, it's a really well, organized activity because they can get up to like 26,000 visitors a day. So it is gonna be very busy, but well organized, well spaced out. Just make sure you walk the whole lap. Hey, I wanna show you something. So you know how I said that there are different um, flowers blooming at different times? I mean, that's even true with the tulips. And you can see like some of them are just poking out like right out of the ground. And then some are pretty tall. And then there's even like one in 50 that are almost completely bloomed. It's just, I don't know why I think this is so cool. Do, do you think it's cool? Cause I totally do. Beatrix garden, I would call it more like a greenhouse. Uh, and there are a ton of orchids. These are some of the most beautiful flowers I think I've ever seen. There's colors that are so vibrant. They don't look real, but they are. And there's some other flowers in here as well. And you can buy a bunch of orchids. Now, I think this does change over depending on the year. And I think depending on the week too, um, they might change it out. But this is really cool, but very busy. So, <laughs> If you have social anxiety, maybe don't come in here. But there's also this upper part, which is where we're at, and we can overlook the whole space. Super cool. Let's talk about tips for visiting the Kokenhof. First of all, wear layers. You never know what the weather is going to do. It might rain, it might be sunny, so just be prepared for all options and wear comfortable footwear. You might be exploring for hours and hours, and you want your feet to be as happy as your heart when you see all the beautiful flowers. And definitely wear sunscreen. Uh, maybe a hat, just depending on what is most comfortable for you. And I just recommend um, planning this for your entire day, because if you leave early, awesome. But if not, you are not pressured to see everything. Coming to the Kokenhof by yourself is absolutely, totally fine. You are going to love it. And there are plenty of people to take your picture if that's what you want to do. Like literally every other person has a nice camera here. So I think you will be absolutely fine. And if you are a visitor to the Netherlands and you are coming here, look into getting the combi ticket so you can get the bus ticket and the entrance ticket at the same time so that it is super easy. And if you have allergies, don't forget to take your allergy pill because you will need it. Everything is flowering, blooming, and pollen is everywhere. So just to make sure you're comfortable. So the main question is, is this a tourist trap? Is it too touristy? My answer is absolutely not. I think there is so much to do and see here and there are 7 million bulbs planted here annually. So if you like flowers, if you like just being around the green, this is definitely a place for you no matter what. Yes, it is busy, but there is plenty of space. So don't worry about that. Just be prepared and come and make a day of it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Let me know down below if you've ever been to the Kokenhof or if you've been to another garden similar that's this tourist thing with so many flowers. I really want to hear about it because we might go there. <laughs> Subscribe if you aren't already pretty please and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys!